Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at a very different type of light. Uh, this is the Rotolite Anova Pro 2. Rotolite create fixtures that I don't think anyone else does, which is dual purpose film and photography lights that are circular and emit both constant light and flashlight. This is actually a pretty smart thing to do since photography and filmmaking are kind of converging. A lot of photographers become filmmakers, a lot of filmmakers want to take photos and having a single unit that does both and does both well is a really interesting proposition. As the pro in the name gives away, these are not entry-level lights. Um, these are very, very nicely made, um, very nicely packaged, uh, full set of features, comes with a beautiful um, Pelican-style hard case, um, comes with full steel um, barn doors, um, a bunch of different filters. Because the fixture has a V-mount battery plate built into it, it comes with a 98 watt hour V-mount battery and charger. So, you know, for that price, you get a complete package. This is a bicolor light, it is not RGB. It goes from 3100 Kelvin to 6300 Kelvin, so daylight to tungsten. And you can further color the light with the uh, diffusion and gels that come with it. Given that the light is this high quality, it's not surprising that it's extremely bright. This is 2%. I metered it at three feet at 5600 degrees Kelvin at 6300 lux, or about 600 foot candles. But the real place that this light shines is that if you put it in flash mode, um, you can get 250% more power um, for that you know, thousandth of a second that it emits the flash burst. But you can also use it as a constant lighting source as a modeling light. So you can use the exposure um, of the constant LEDs to look at what your shot will look like. And then when you press the shutter release on your camera, you'll get that extra burst and it'll bring it up to the level that you wanna shoot at. Speaking of levels, this fixture has a variety of inbuilt features. It has a thing called true aperture dimming where you can just set the light for distance, aperture, shutter speed, and it will calculate how bright the light needs to be to give you proper exposure at that level. So it sort of has a light meter built into the light. It also has a variety of cine effects that you see on higher end LEDs like the Ari Sky panels. These include strobe, lightning, cycle, uh, police, TV, um, spin, welding, neon, and even a gunshot filter. The unit has a built-in Elenchrome Skyport receiver. So if your camera or your um, flash controller has Elenchrome Skyport, you can trigger it um, without any receiver whatsoever. If you buy the $90 Skyport transmitter from Amazon and put this on your camera, um, you can trigger this and adjust the brightness of it remotely um, as you're shooting. I got together with my friend Paula and we shot a whole bunch of shots uh, with this light. They came out great. Um, it's really fun to see how much you can do with a single light source, um, diffusing it, um, pushing it through gels, pushing it through diffusion. It was plenty bright um, for my little studio and the shots that I wanted to take. There is a softbox available for the light. It's not much bigger than the light. I think um, a lot of people that use this like it for its beauty dish form factor, but uh, I did want it to do some larger portraits. Uh, so I jerry-rigged a umbrella mount onto the mount of the light and I was able to add an umbrella pretty easily and get beautiful soft quality of light for a full-size portrait. I think that film and photography are both converging and changing really fast and this is the kind of light that if you only had to take one light somewhere um, to do both of those things this is probably the one that you would choose. It can do what no constant LED can do which is compete with the sun outside in the middle of the day because you have that addition to push up the flash and run it from battery. That is the Rotolite Anova Pro 2 flash and constant LED unit. Um, check out my Instagram for more of the photos we took and leave your questions in the comments. Links are in the description. I will see you next time.